Hello friends, this video on Integers part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us quickly look at some examples of subtraction. So first we will consider subtraction between positive integer and positive integer. So let's take an example 6 minus 3. What would be the value of 6 minus 3? So where is 6? 6 is somewhere here and we are trying to subtract a positive number from 6. Right. So trying to subtract a positive number from 6, you will be moving towards left. Yes. So 3 jumps towards left. 1, 2, 3. So where did you arrive? You arrive at 3. So 6 minus 3 would be 3. Now can you tell me what it would have been 3 minus 6? So when you perform 3 minus 6, you were at 3 and you are trying to subtract a positive number from 3. So this time also you will move towards left but how many jumps towards left? 6 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So where have you reached? You have reached at minus 3. So this time the result would be minus 3. So you see here we have very beautifully explained what we learned in the previous slide, the subtraction logic. So when you subtract a smaller number from a bigger number, the result is positive. When you subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, the result is negative. So that's very uh, prominently proved here. Okay, now there is another way of looking at subtraction of integers. So when you say 6 minus 3, so 6 minus 3 is as good as 6 plus minus 3. So they both mean the same thing. So subtracting 3 from 6 means adding the additive inverse of 3 to 6. They, they actually mean the same thing. Now we have learned about additive inverse, right? So what would be additive inverse of 3? Additive inverse of 3 is minus 3. So subtracting 3 from 6 and adding additive inverse of 3 to 6, they mean the same thing. So if you can write 6 minus 3 as 6 plus minus 3, it actually means addition of two integers. So you can follow the same rules. So we already know how to add a positive integer and a negative integer. So you can follow the same rules and you can arrive at the result. So this is also another way of looking at subtraction of integers. In this case, 3 minus 6. So 3 minus 6 is same as 3 plus minus 6. So subtracting 6 and adding additive inverse of 6, they mean the same thing. So for all of whatever we learned, we can just remember that find the difference. The tip is that find the difference and put the sign of the bigger number. So if you look at this rule, this rule remains the same as it was for addition in case of a positive and a negative integer. Because you see, subtraction of two positive integers would actually mean addition of one positive and one negative integers. And therefore, the tip also remains the same for these two scenarios. Yeah, so, so that, that's our one scenario for subtraction. So let's talk about subtraction of a positive integer and a negative integer. So let's take an example. Let's say 3 minus minus 6 would be what? Or if you have another scenario, minus 6 minus 3 would be what? So in both of these, you have one positive and the other negative integer. So what would be the result in these cases? So again, there are two different approaches. One approach is you go by the subtraction approach. So you are subtracting a negative number. So subtracting a negative integer from something is a good thing to do. So you are trying to remove the uh, negative habits from your life. So that's the right thing to do. So you were at 3 and from 3 you are going to move towards right. How many jumps towards right? 6 jumps. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So you are reaching at 9. So therefore the result would be 9. So and in this case, in the second case, it is minus 6 minus 3. So you are actually subtracting a positive integer from a negative integer. So you are at minus 6 and you are subtracting a positive integer, which is not the right thing to do. So you will move towards left. How many jumps towards left? 3. 1, 2, 3. So 3 jumps towards left, you reach at minus 9. So the result in this case would be minus 9. So this is one way of performing the subtraction. The alternative way to perform the subtraction is 3 minus minus 6. 
So subtracting minus 6 from 3 is the same thing as adding the additive inverse of minus 6. So additive inverse of minus 6 is plus 6. So 3 plus 6 is 9. So you arrive at the same result. In a similar way you can perform this also. So minus 6 minus plus 3. So subtracting 3 from minus 6 is the same thing as adding the additive inverse of 3. So minus 6 plus minus 3. So how do you add two negative integers? You find their sum and put a negative sign. So you see again you arrived at the same result. So you can follow any of these approaches. Whenever you are subtracting two integers, either you can consider the additive inverse of one number and then you can just find the sum or you can go by the rules of subtraction. So both ways you will arrive at the same result. So the only tip that you need to remember is whenever you are performing subtraction, you are actually adding the additive inverse of number to be subtracted. So this is an important thing to remember. If you remember this, you really do not need to remember any rule related to subtraction. Only with this, you will be able to perform all subtraction. Let's look at the last scenario where you are trying to subtract two negative integers. So let us say you have one integer minus 3, you have another integer minus 6 and you are trying to subtract these two or you have minus 6 minus minus 3. So what would be the result in both of these cases? So in the first scenario you are at minus 3 here, you are trying to subtract a negative integer that is you are trying to remove a negative uh, habit from your life which is the right thing to do. So you will move towards right, how many jumps? 6 jumps. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you arrived at 3. So the result would be 3. In this case it is minus 6 minus minus 3. So you are at minus 6 and now you are removing a negative number. So again you will move towards right. But how many steps? 3 steps. That is 1, 2 and 3. So you have arrived at minus 3. So in this case the result would be minus 3. Or another way of looking at it is minus 3 minus minus 6 would mean the same thing as adding the additive inverse of minus 6 which is plus 6. So minus 3 plus 6 would be plus 3. Similarly in this case minus 6 plus additive inverse of minus 3 which is plus 3. So this would be minus 3. So you see you are arriving at the same results. So the tip again remains the same. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its additive inverse. So add the additive inverse of the number to be subtracted. So in this case, minus 6 was the number to be subtracted. So instead of subtracting minus 6, you add plus 6. So now that we have learned about both addition and subtraction on integers, let us quickly have a look at the summary because we have discussed about so many tips and so many rules. So one quick uh, look back to whatever we have discussed. First thing is you add a positive number to a positive number. Your result would always be positive. So you find the sum, put a positive sign. That's it. Now you add a positive number with a negative number. How do you do? You find the difference. You subtract the two numbers find the difference and put the sign of the bigger number. So if the bigger number has a negative sign, your result would be negative. If the smaller number has um, a negative sign, then your result would be positive. If you are adding two negative numbers, in that case, you find the sum of the numbers and put a negative sign to the result. So remembering these three tips are enough. That's because whenever you are performing subtraction, as I said, subtraction is all about adding the additive inverse of the number to be subtracted. So there also you will anyways follow the rules of addition. So just remembering these three rules of addition would be enough to perform addition and subtraction on integers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.